Hello, today I'll be talking about the uh, tragic, heroic, uh, romantic life of Flora MacDonald. Uh, just kind of uh, rush through her life here, unfortunately, due to time. Uh, Flora MacDonald is, uh, is an heir to uh, a clan MacDonald in the Highlands of Scotland. Uh, the clan culture is uh, very, when you think of Scotland, the clan culture is kind of what you're thinking of, but there's actually two distinct cultures of uh, the Highlanders and the Lowlanders. Uh, but when you think of the, the kilts and, uh, you know, Braveheart and Rob Roy, that's clan culture. That's the Highlands. And Flora was uh, an heir to a clan chieftain of MacDonald. And um, she kind of has an adventurous uh, but also tragic life. Um, the last heir to the, the, Stuart, uh, the Stuart line uh, was Charles Edward Stuart, who was raised outside of Scotland. Um, due to the Hanover switch and uh, you know years of turmoil with the Glorious Revolution in, in the, in the uh, 1600s, uh, he's raised in France. Uh, the Highlanders kind of long for the return of their uh, um, legendary hero, Bonnie Prince Charlie, who's only legendary and heroic uh, in their eyes. Uh, he does return in uh, 1745, gathers Highlanders with him, and they quickly win a short battle, but then uh, at the Battle of Culloden, they are absolutely uh, eviscerated. Uh, they are destroyed, and that puts Highland culture pretty much um, on the ropes from that point on. Um, Bonnie Prince Charlie uh, escapes the battle. He is running through the woods. He's in the Highlands of Scotland, just trying to do anything to get back to France. When he runs in, when an aide takes him to uh, Flora Macdonald. Flora Macdonald, out of Highland. Uh, tradition and Highland courtesy uh, aids him in his escape and gets him uh, to France. But this uh, alienates her with the, uh, uh, the English and she's in fact captured. But she conducts herself in such a manner when she is in London. She's not put in the tower, uh, the London Tower uh, um, prison, but she kind of becomes a, a folk hero. She kind of becomes a, 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 a popular character in culture. Um, to the Londoners, uh, she is she's a throwback to an alien foreign culture the the, the, the rugged Highlanders they're, they're kind of romanticized uh, in, in the eyes of the Londoners and she kind of embodies that to them and she conducts herself in such a way that she kind of um, breathe you know breathes real life into this uh, uh, this drama that they've kind of played out in their imaginations of who the Highlanders are uh, so she she is released and uh, after a few years of being married, living in Scotland, uh, she decides to, uh, her and her husband and a lot of the clan MacDonald decide to emigrate uh, to America. And there is a Highland culture that exists um, inland in North Carolina where she sets up. Now, one of the, uh, one of the aspects of the British kind of empire and conquest of, uh, of Scotland uh, to kind of bring... Uh, to kind of subdue and entice and bring in the Highland culture, uh, they kind of, they've outlawed tartans, they've outlawed bagpipes, but to to entice them to be able to hold on to their culture, they say you can have your bagpipes, you can have your traditional dress if you're willing to serve in the king's service. So they create these uh, these were these these groups were actually uh, very active in the French and Indian War. They have the King's Highland Regiment or the Black Watch or or uh, the the 77th Highlanders, there, there's all, numerous tribes, I mean, numerous, numerous clans that join into uh, the British Army but kind of keep their Scottish identity so they willingly uh, join forces with the uh, traditional hated English. And when she, when uh, Flora MacDonald and her husband arrive in America, her husband has accepted this, uh, this, this service in the King's Army because he's allowed to uh, serve uh, in the Highland Regiment, and he is uh, a colonel in the Highland Regiment. Unfortunately, uh, they arrive a little bit before the Revolution, and the the coastal uh, North Carolinian North Carolinians are very sensitive to the American Revolution, and they are inspired. Where the Highlanders um, uh, on the in the inland of North Carolina have a loyalty to the Crown due to their uh, their desire to hold on to their Highland culture and their promise to serve in the King's army. 
uh, the Continental Army is aware of this, and they know that if the British meet up with uh, and join forces with the the Highlanders of the mountainous regions of North Carolina, that the coastal the, 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 the coastal North Carolinians that are sensitive to the cause will basically uh, be pinched, and uh, North Carolina will be lost to the British. So early in 1776. Uh, there was a battle uh, uh, in February 22nd of 1775, in 1776 in Morgan's Creek. Uh, the evening before, in kind of the Celtic, uh, the Celtic tradition of uh, Boudicai, uh, Flora kind of goes campfire to campfire, inspiring men because she is, you know, Flora McDonald. She's the one that's helped uh, our, our uh, honored hero, uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie, escape the English. And she uh, kind of inspires the men. Unfortunately, her inspiration did not help, and uh, her husband and the Highlanders were defeated uh, on February 22nd, and her husband and her sons were actually, um, were in fact uh, arrested and imprisoned. Due to her, um, due to her power and inspiration in the Highland culture, uh, the, Continental, uh, the Continental Congress was concerned that she could in fact inspire an uprising in trying to free her husband and her sons. So they were continually kind of moved from prison to prison. Uh, but after two years of not seeing her husband being separated, um, Flora actually returned home uh, to, her, to, uh, to Scotland. On her way home, uh, her ship was actually attacked uh, by the French, uh, where she's injured, where she uh, legendarily uh, was to say that I have been injured in the service of both uh, the House of Stuart and the House of Hanover. Uh, which, if it's true, it's a very, uh, it's a very romantic and a humorous way to look at her life. So I was glad that she could uh, keep her sense of humor at that at that moment. Uh, the the life of Flora Macdonald is very interesting because it ties together a little known uh, aspect of Scottish history and Highland history that exists in North Carolina. That uh, I think, uh, unless you live in North Carolina, which I don't, I, it might be kind of uh, unaware of that. Uh, there was such a loyalty to the crown due to their desire to hold on to their 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 love for their home and and Scotland and their uh, you know Highland traditions that they were willing to uh, serve the king in desire to hold on to that tradition. And Flora uh, Macdonald, who uh, had a rebellious heart in her soul, um, you know, had to uh, oddly enough, you would think that she would side with the Americans, but uh, that Highland tradition. Uh, kept her in the service of uh, Britain.